Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Virtual events like the 2021 Virtual 50 Plus Expo offers options for fun, entertainment classes and lifelong learning. With us to share news about this wonderful alternative expo is Stuart Rosenthal, publisher of the Beacon newspaper. Stuart, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ethel. I'm honored to be here. And the Beacon's happy to be partnering once again with the Baltimore County Department of Aging. For the well-being of our population due to COVID, the Baltimore County Department of Aging is partnering with the Beacon and the Howard County Office on Aging and Independence to offer the 2021 Virtual 50 Plus Expo. Stuart, can you share information about this fabulous event? Certainly. The Virtual Expo is like an in-person expo, except you have access to all the exhibitors, speakers, classes, and entertainment 24-7 from the comfort of your home. That means every program is pre-taped and available for viewing at your convenience. Also, our exhibitors are represented by landing pages with information about their services, a short video, and all the contact info you need to get in touch with them during office hours. Ethel, I'd like to take just a minute to describe how our website will differ from last year, especially for those who participated last year when we had more than 9,000 unique visitors, no doubt including many of your viewers. So we've slightly revised our homepage this year. Now, when you enter our website address, beacon50expo.com, in your computer, laptop, tablet, or even smartphone, you'll come to a homepage divided into four areas. One that allows you to register for door prizes, one with our keynote speaker video, one allowing you to go right to our exhibit hall for useful information and services. And then across the bottom, we'll have buttons for each category of information you can find on the site, from arts and entertainment to estate planning, to housing communities, to senior services, 15 different subject areas in all. Click on any one to go right to government agencies, nonprofits, and businesses that can help you with your need. And of course, across the top of every page will be buttons that take you to our speakers, classes, entertainment, and more. Stuart, let's now talk about the Virtual Expo's keynote, who is a well-known host with her own show on NPR. Can you fill us in? Sure, we are thrilled that our keynote speaker this year will be Diane Rehm who was on the air with a daily talk show for nearly 40 years. What started as a local program in the Washington area was picked up by National Public Radio until her weekly on-air audience grew to more than 2.8 million listeners. She became known for the honesty of her approach and the intimacy she created with her guests on the air. She addressed a wide variety of issues over the years. I don't even have time to list all the honors and awards that she received. But she's not resting on her laurels. Today, she has a weekly podcast engaging in conversations with newsmakers, artists, and thinkers. For our keynote presentation, I will be interviewing her about her life and career, and especially about her recent book and documentary. I know our audience would welcome a snapshot of the event's speakers, classes, and entertainment. Can you share these special elements of the show? Okay, I think it's fair to say we hope to have something for everyone. In fact, several somethings. We're still in the process of lining up dozens of speakers, classes, and entertainers. But I can tell you that last year, we had cooking classes, exercise classes, and both classes and speakers on many wellness and financial topics. Our entertainment ranged from stand-up comics to rock and roll, songs to the Great American Songbook, ballroom dance, jazz and classical music, and a barbershop chorus. And I can assure your viewers, this year's lineup will be no less exciting. Excellent. Changing gears, sponsorship support is always critical to an event of this type. Please share the name of the event sponsors. Sure. So far, we're happy to have Cigna as a silver sponsor and GBMC and Maryland Relay as bronze sponsors from Baltimore. Holy Cross Health is our silver sponsor from the Washington area. And Residences Advantage Point in Columbia is also a bronze sponsor. As you know, Ethel, the event is nearly two months away still, so we expect to have more sponsors joining us over time. If anyone's watching, by the way, who's with a company that might be interested in sponsoring, please contact us at The Beacon. Stuart, thank you for being on the show to share information about our 50-plus virtual expo. It's been a pleasure, Ethel. Thank you for the opportunity.